You can't uh, use that clip. <laughs> this this is why I could never let someone else edit our videos. Nope, because they would leave that in because they would think it's funny. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, this is a heavy box. It's swole. Swole? Why, why don't you put that down? It's our mail and mail. Oh. This is April O'Neil, Channel 6 News, and you're watching Do You Nerd. What's up, Nerdlings? What's up, Nerdlings? Tom and Lady Lacey, Do You Nerd Variety Channel. We've got some awesome friends we in this community. We do have some awesome friends. Like, one that we have not had the privilege to meet in person. Sad. Josh of Drink and Game with Josh. And I like drinking, and I like games. We would get <laughs> I, along I know. so well. Right? Right? Like, right there in the name, it's like, we're already meant to hang out. Greetings, friend. Dang. He sent a huge, huge box. I don't know what we're going to do with this guy, but let's dig in and see what he sent us. Hey, a note. Hey, hey, Tom and Lacey. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving, a wonderful birthday, and are gearing up for an amazing Christmas. Somewhere stuffed inside this massive box is a certain RPG that we spoke about that you had been looking for. I also filled it to the brim, I see that, with some other items that I hope you will enjoy. The last time I sent you a box, I don't believe I gave you a sleeve. So to make up for it, I shuffled over the last custom 3D box that VGDS made for me. Oh, wow. Is it a 3D one? It is. One of only 12 in existence. Super rare and sure to be a collector's item one day when I am bigger it? than Metal Jesus and Mr. Beast combined. <laughs> I hope you signed it. Video game dust sleeves does amazing yes. work just with dust sleeves in general. But then he does awesome 3D ones. What was the really cool 3D one we got? I don't know. It's just a certain derriere, maybe. <laughs> Look at that this! That is amazing! Wow! That is so cool! Okay, obviously, quality creation here, again, by Video Game Dust Sleeve. <clears throat> but Josh, your logo, it pops so well. Like, it works so well in the it's 3D space. It's not signed. What are we supposed to do when you get bigger than Metal Jesus and that other dude? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that is cool. And That's amazing. You will have to let us know exactly which game we need to put in there and yeah. make sure it's it's totally sleeved up and safe. There's also a special gift that I commissioned from the person who brought me into this world and threatened many times when I was growing up to take me out of Oh, this. your mom's like my mom. He sent the bane of our cat's existence. Oh my gosh. Our Paul. cat hates plastic bags. I'm pretty sure in a past life he was like probably strangled and thrown in a river in one of these things or something. Oh, 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 look what I see already. Oh my gosh. Get him out of there. Here comes Pac-Man. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> she knocked them out of the park, I think. Chomp, chomp. Your mom made wang, these, wang, 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 and you wang. you sent them to us. Like you didn't want to hang on to these yourself that is because so cute. I don't think this one's going to let you have them back. I'm just letting no, you know. No, but at now. least you know they're going to be safe. Oh my gosh, yes. How First of all, adorable. they look amazing. They are so cute. Look I, at their little ruffles on the ghosts. I love how cute the ghosts are. Pac-Man looks fantastic. <laughs> He's got to eat the blue one. <laughs> Wow. Your mom does amazing that is work. Awesome. These are so, so cool yes. and absolutely so adorable. Adorable. I love it. Nice. Love these. Nice. You know you have her number because just plushies, right? Plushies, off the bat. yes. What are you going to do with all those now? I don't know. You know, we're going to come in in the middle of the night and they're going to be on the floor because Paul has attacked them. Here you go. That should keep oh, you busy for nice. a little while. I love these things. I'm such a fidgeter. I have so many fidget things. I have a drawer at work full of just fidget stuff. I'm the cool one at work, according to everybody at work, because they come over when and play with all my toys. So. And it's generally the popping ones yes, like Yes, I this. love the popping ones. That noise is so satisfying. <laughs> love that. And it's, it's like in the shape of a controller. I know. See, look. Oh, it's sealed. <laughs> I'm going to get swollen. I'm going to be so big because now I've got a mega mus or a super mushroom right here. <laughs> Boom. We love the uh, the little collectible yes. tins. We have a few of them. I can't remember. Do we, we have, have yeah. do we have one of these? Yeah, but I mean, 
you know, we... You can't the, have too many more. No, you can't. You have gigantism. Have you been eating anything strange lately? No. Well, a magic mushroom I, uh, I found in a, uh, a floating box. Yep, that'll do it. What is that? Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, Super Mario shaped jigsaw. How cute. That's pretty cool. That'll we, be fun. We actually really do enjoy we, doing yes, puzzles. We love doing puzzles and then we'll glue them together and kind of hang them yeah, up. Yeah, we, we kind of cheat like that because we would uh, display them once glued together yeah. in the garage where we actually had some wall space. Yeah. But uh, most of the time, like whenever we do a puzzle, we think, well, I'm probably not going to do the puzzle again. Yeah. So let's keep it forever as art. And, this one's great. When he's done, he may have to uh, go in here. We'll have to find somewhere. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna start putting stuff on the ceiling, I guess. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we've got a bunch of little goodies oh, here. Fun. Oh, these are cool. They're Famicom manuals. Nice. So Tom we Sawyer. have squares, Tom Sawyer. So that's so just, little. Just a, a fun little aside here. Way back in yonder days, I was trying to collect all of the stuff by Square, Squaresoft. And I knew of Square's Tom Look, Sawyer on color. Famicom because that was one of the games that I was going to have to get. That's impressive. That it's That's a, a color. very nice manual. It's I in like really that. good condition. Oh, and we have a Mahjong manual. It's our Sega. Oh, sorry, Sega head. Oh, that, I can't even see that picture. That's tiny. <laughs> and then we have one for Argus. Nice. We also have some official drinking magnets. games. Yeah, stickers that are going Those to be turned magnets. into magnets. The funny thing is, I think the last time we got something from Josh, he sent us a printout of his logo, and yes. I, I made it into a magnet anyway. Look at these. Oh, nice. Controller covers, Legend of Zelda themed for Either your NES controller, maybe your Famicom, whatever you want to put it nice. on there. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Good lord, it just keeps going. Here's the RPG we talked about. Breath of there's, Fire 3. There's that sweetheart Josh. <laughs> I loved Breath of Fire on Super Nintendo. And Breath of Fire 2 was great. When 3 came out on PS1, wow, it seemed like such a huge open world. Plus, it's absolutely beautiful. Me and my friend Jason, we played through it together. You know, each of us had our own save file, and we absolutely loved the game. So many great memories. It's it's so much fun. They have this great like master apprentice thing where you learn new skills and abilities and everything. There's this really fun fishing game in it, and it all just sticks in my mind. Of course, Jason got to the point where he had done everything in the game, even fought the final boss, but there's an extra boss, an archmage, I think, and he's super hard, and that was the only thing he had to defeat. That was one of the games that was deleted by his younger brother. Oh, that liked to watch the things disappear? Yeah, yeah it was fun. memory cards. He's like, oh, oh look, look. They disappear. Hmm. So do not tell Beardo that there is dragon gene splicing in this game. He might not like that. No, it's it's the human becoming more dragon-like. Oh, so maybe he would like it if I became more like him? Probably. But who's gonna give him his bugs? That's a good question. <laughs> we have some books. This is part of what made this box Ooh. so heavy. Grimm's! Hello! Yay. Nice! Grimm's Different Seasons. Oh, I love Grimm's Fairy Tales. They are, um, the artwork in them is just so beautiful. I mean, we've talked about it many times, but the artwork is gorgeous. The storylines are fun and they are not safe. <laughs> they are not your typical fairy tales where they live happily ever after. <laughs> Zenscope does sales like all yeah. the time. I get in trouble because they'll have like $1 single issues and everything. And it's like, it's only a dollar. So I'll grab that one and that one. And then like 30 issues later, you're like, where are we going to put these? And I'm like, there's a box somewhere. <laughs> The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Ooh, Wonder Woman. Nice. This will be a good read, too. Now, what I like about this is this is a... It's a hardback, a yeah. Hardbound, yeah. So this is a great collection to have. Earth One, Volume One. Perfect. 
It's like he pays attention to what I like. Yeah, he must because... Because <laughs> there's a Wonder Woman coloring book! <laughs> you know... At you least should... it's not Star Wars where you get Stormtroopers and Darth Vader and it's, there's no coloring. Nice. This is really awesome. It's got old school Wonder Woman, new Wonder Woman. This is awesome. Just kind of all the different iterations of Wonder Woman throughout the years. That is really fun. Oh, look, the kissies. Before, like, a lot of these great coloring yeah. books started to hit the market, we used to have to just print off our own Yeah, images. not to sound like hipsters or whatever, but we did it before it was cool, but we legit did. And we, you know, it was not, you couldn't find coloring books. Now they're everywhere. Generally, I would get online and look <laughs> up, you know, like, Assassin's Creed line art. Yeah. Find a great picture and, yeah, put us to task. The last big ticket item is a brewer's half dozen of the Nectar of the Gods. Cheers to an amazing holiday season. Drink at Games with Josh. This is what I'm talking about. Josh spoils <laughs> yes. people. Now, a man with a YouTube channel called Drink at Games with Josh, he's going to know a thing or two about beer. And he's always finding, like, super delicious sounding beers. But then on top of that, the can, can art yes. in his area, it's out of this world. I've got one here. He'll <laughs> shoot your eye out with all Ralphie and a bit of peppermint in he, his eye. He didn't say fudge. Well, this one has a beard on it. Red flannel lager. So it's a, it's got a flannel shirt and a beard. Kind of like him. Are you saying you want me to be more of a lumberjack? Maybe. I traveled 500 miles to give you my seed. Lumberjack? <gasps> The Skylight Snowball Vice. Ooh, and it's a sour ale. We actually really like our sours. I don't think Josh is much of a fan of them, but we like them, so we love, love checking sours, out some new yes. ones. This one is all me. That is all you. Look at oh that my wicket. gosh. Wicket with a lightsaber. That is cool. Brewery Fire, the power of the fourth. How cute is that? <laughs> That's right. And then you have an American Red Ale with Misfit Red. Oh, that's is funny. That that's, that's got your name all over it, literally. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Josh, you went way overboard here. Your your letter was not kidding. You did pack it to the brim with stuff. We got some great beers to try. Thank you very much for those. You reunited me with a favorite game of mine because Does it feels so good. Though Jason and I played <laughs> it, it was his games. So. I finally have my own copy. Hey, I can play with you. You can, yeah. That'll I be can perfect. play with you. See, just like that. We got a proper 3D printed sleeve. But again, let us know which game is going in here. We got some coloring books. We got some comic books to read. Yes. A puzzle to do. You've got, got some, some new plushies. I've got some plushies to keep away from the cat. <laughs> wow. Holy cow. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. And uh, we're going to have to get in touch and try to find something to send your way yeah. to repay you for this because this is way too nice. But... First things first, I'm gonna get this stuff on ice yes. so we have something to drink. You play with your plushies and- I'm gonna go read my uh, holiday book. You, you know what the nice thing is about retro games? I don't have to sit down and be like, oh, there's an update. Oh, now I have to install the update. Oh, now my controller wants an update. Since when did controllers I, I, I get to put this in the system and just play. And just play. As Fighter long as things. I don't uh, try to make the fun thing disappear. <sighs> <laughs> Pray for me, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings! You sound like the, the gremlin in a bar with the little toy. What the f***?